And here we go. Let's check out the Nautic Siege Core, the sub paragon in three, two. All right, so welcome back to another BT6 update video. And today we're gonna be reacting to update 41 of BTD6. As of this video, the update's still not out yet, but we have early access thanks to Ninja Kiwi. So thank you so much, Ninja Kiwi. So let's check out update 41 of BTD6 here. Come on, update 41. Sublime New Year update. We have the sub paragon that's really exciting here we have a new map sulfur springs caught boss challenges map editor stuff lots of just quality of life we'll have to check the palette we'll have to check the patch notes as well but this is really exciting here all right so where do we even start here we got to start with the sub paragon i think let's go into monkey series monkey sub here and it's already unlocked all right nautic siege core here look at that that's so big look at the layers here we have the, the energizer out here and then we have like the bottom path at sub up here this is so big it's so like like tall you know four hundred thousand dollars i'm glad we have a paragon that's like slightly cheaper i feel like the price has just kept going up and up unfathomable range power and synergies with other monkey towers in here has put all balloons under assault i feel like you just don't know what this does based on the text but i feel like it's more exciting that way so that's okay look at that icon oh my gosh this is so cool okay all right i know the video like just started but let's explore the sub paragon we've been farming for a little bit here we're gonna start with the tier one sub paragon then check out the tier 100 if we can get that up so first we're gonna sell everything here and here we go let's check out the nautic siege core the sub paragon in three two one Oh, wait, we have to do this thing here. So we'll boost it up later. But for now, let's just stick with the tier one here. Here we go. The sub paragon. That is very tall. Look at that. Oh, it's big. Look at the outline underneath. All right, Nautic Siege Core. Unfathomable. We already read that, actually. All right, so we have an ability here with this icon right here. There's the ability. Um, looks like we get submerge here. Honestly, it's only the monkey just going down from the top here. Like, there's the monkey. I like that animation, though. You go, know, like, up and down. Um... So when it's submerged, you see we have this like electric thing here. So let's start with it submerged and see how it does against super ceramics here. Can it defend ceramics here? Come on. It does very nicely here. It should. This is a $400,000 tower. Um, It should defend a lot here. We have a lot of skins on because it's the dev build. And I didn't turn them off here. So um, I don't know. I'm not used to playing with like skins and stuff. Let's see how it does against BFE when it's submerged. We have a very slow ability here. Look at the cooldown. It's very, very slow here. Um, It's popping down the stuff here. Are we going to lose? It's not able to defend. So it's not going to be able to defend deep BFBs when submerged, but, which that's okay. It makes sense. Just get up like a quick like anti-balloon or something. I don't even know. All right, it's round 92 now. Let's unsubmerge it and see what happens here, right? Let's see. It looks like it has universal range here because we have no towers up here for advanced intel. Um, So it can hit all over the map. It got a very, very powerful ballistic missile ability. There's some ZMGs and it's shredding the ZMGs. Oh my gosh, that's decent. We also have a main attack right here, it looks like, where it's just shooting, like, you know, the airburst darts ability. Because it is combining all tier 5s in one, right? Oh, look at that. That's so sad. So let's see how it does against round 95 GDTs here. It's doing decent, all right? But this is, like, a $500,000 tower here. Um, I don't know. Let's see. It is shredding the DDTs up. It's doing everything it should be, all right? So here's round 96. Let's try the ability and see what happens here. This, this is such a cool icon here. Um, we're just going to click on it. Boom, there we go. And there's a countdown. Oh my gosh. And it just launched. Ooh. Okay, so it's like a giant, like, missile attack. Look at the... It leaves, like, radiation on the ground. Oh, that's cool. Okay. We're gonna have to check out the patch notes and see what this thing does really quick. So let's look at the patch notes, actually. All right, so it says in the patch notes here that it, it preemptively hits everything coming on the screen once, right? Like, with the universal range. Like, it'll, so it'll hit all the mobs coming out, but it'll also have advanced intel. So if we put a tower towards the front here, let's just put, like, a boomerang up here, it should attack ever, all over the screen. And now we can see it actually attacking. So we were not getting the full pop power here, and now it can attack everywhere on the screen here, which is really, really good. And we should see a lot more damage from this thing here. It's so cool looking. Look how tall it is. I love how tall it is let's see how it does against a bad here right look at that that's the paragon that we wanted there we go now that it has its main attack now it's absolutely shredding here that's perfect oh my gosh all right that's great when it's submerged it does massive damage and pierce buffs to all heroes and other subs within radius so this is interesting it buffs heroes and other subs here so let's just place down a sub to see what happens here um we'll just go for like it's gonna be hard to see how much damage buffs it's giving when it's already shredding all the balloons here um but it says it's massive here. So we have a buff on the sub right here. So we'll just start with this. Um, I assume that's really, really good. I, I, we just have no grasp here, right? Oh, wait, we're supposed to submerge it. What am I doing here? So we submerge it here. Now with the abilities. Oh, shoot. Um, let's unsubmerge you. Let's try not to lose here. Come on. All right, so we have it submerged here. And it's buffing the subs within range here. So I don't know about you guys, but this sub is... Look at, look at the damage on the sub here. 
This is a $25,000 tier 5 with no other buffs here. We don't have a bunch of other subs here. It's just this bottom path tier 5 here. That looks like a really, really decent buff here. I'm not sure how it's going to be applicable. I think it's just going to be like another thing to add on, but it's not going to be something you're going to be using like alone tech necessarily. Now we also have this ability, which is called Final Strike. Oh my, this just sounds so crazy. Let's use Final Strike here. So we have a countdown right here, 15 seconds. And we wait. So you do have to use it a little bit in advance here. And then we see it launch at some point. I think we missed it and stuff. It should launch. And it just hits all over the screen. I love the radiation. Look at that. Oh my god, that's crazy. It's just like a super like mega buffed wall fire. It feels like a perma spike almost. So I don't have time at the moment to see how late this will go. That'll be in another video here. But this thing is crazy powerful and stuff. Like when it's submerged, it's a little bit like interesting to see the submerge. Because when you unsubmerge, it's not gonna be attacking. The thing is, it feels better to leave it up because then it's attacking and it's gonna do so much more damage, right? But tell you what, let's sell it and get up the tier 100. Assuming it goes up to tier 100 here. We'll go for the tier 100 Paragon here, uh, which is just really, really exciting here. Like, how is it going to look, all right? So we do this. We're going to boost it all the way up right here. Do it. Let's go. Come on. Is it tier 100? There we go. 56. It doesn't go all the way up. We see a few changes here. Oh, I forgot to go for Geraldo here. Hmm. All right, so here we are in the challenge browser. It's around 105 here. We have a lot of money because I just gave ourselves infinite money. We have 53 totems here and all these subs. Is it enough to get up the tier 100? Sub Paragon, please, come on. Oh my gosh. All right, we got two more totems. That should be enough here. Let's see the tier 100 sub Paragon, come on. What? All right, this should be enough here. Like, come on, it's a, I did two more totems please yeah there we go tier 100 sub parent look at the lines oh my gosh all right we'll sell everything else we'll keep up that uh monkey for advanced intel let's see how this does here oh my gosh it doesn't look that different honestly we have these purple lines here we can't really see the front here too it's gonna do really really good like i don't even know the sub parent was already good so it's kind of hard to grasp like how good this one actually is we'll see if there's any differences with final strike here all right, here we go. We have round 116 here. We have the sub submerge, so it's not doing anything. And we're going to see how good our tier 100 final strike is here. Oh my gosh, commentary. 15, 14, 13. I love the countdown. I think that's such a cool, fun effect. It hypes it up, and it, may, it just adds some strategy to it. That's just such a cool mechanic. There's the missiles. The missiles look so cool. All right, come on. Let's shred it. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Oh my gosh, that's so satisfying right there. All right, there you go. Tier 100 Paragon. Now it's time for Sulfur Springs, the new map right here. All right, we'll just pop in on easy mode here. Look at this map. It's beautiful. I love how like beautiful they made the max and they're not like too detailed or overwhelming where you can't like see what's going on. Um, But they're, they're just pretty. Look at the butterflies. Oh my gosh, let's start off here. We have our red balloons here. They're gonna go around here. So we got a really nice tag shooter spot right here. And then they're going this side. They're gonna loop around again. Ooh, this map's really nice for the sub paragon, actually. You just plop it down in the middle. It'll just absolutely shred. Um, we have geysers here. Can you put stuff in here? Yeah, you can't put anything there. And then uh, the road spikes are hitting it. I assume they go down and they go around the loop again here. So it's an intermediate map. It's pretty generous here. It's not, like, too tricky here. Oh, look, if you click the geysers, they, like, splash a little. Oh, I like that. That's fun. Overall, really nice tag spots. It's kind of a weird map because you, you like water towers are gonna be really good in the center here, but you're not gonna rely on water overall. We do have a lot of land over here. Overall, just a really interesting map, but just just love it. It's very very beautiful here. We also have some new quests here. We have Psy Insight. We have Hug a Bloon, and then we have Moab Madness right here. So those are the three new quests. Oh, it looks like we already have the new cosmetics. This is really cool. So we have Moab B, Chocolate Bar Pontoon, Dread Rising, Flower Friends, Wood Dragon Bear, Benjamin Mount. All right, so the Moabs aren't really going through here for some reason. So I can't show off the Moab skin. We have Mouse Benjamin here. There's a little mouse. Oh, it's cute. Hello. And then we have Chocolate Bar Pod. Dude, look at that. That's a good one. That is so good. That is so good. That is, oh my gosh. That's such a good cosmetic. Do you see that? It says in the patch notes that Apocalypse Mode now grants in-game cash and Chips Mode now has the retry last round option. That is huge. That is so, those are two really, really cool changes. I really like that. I really like the retry last round option. That's going to change up videos. And then it says that there's some new map stuff here. So let's check. We have this. Ooh, look at these. I don't know what's new and what's not, honestly. I haven't checked the map editor a little bit, but. Oh my gosh, this is like, there's so much stuff here. I don't know how to make videos in the map editor yet, necessarily. Look at all this stuff. Tiki head, broom. Oh yeah, look at this. There's this prop pack. Oh, ooh. Yo, let's get that. And then we have this thing. I think I assume this is from before here, but 
Oh my gosh. All right, so we got all this candy stuff right here, including this house right here. This is cool. This is really cool. There's like a lot of new stuff. Like there's free stuff and the stuff you can pay for. So that's basically all we have right now. We'll see a full patch notes once the update's actually out. But let me know what you guys think. Hope you guys have a beautiful day and be sure to brush your teeth.